Tripe still got this leg in his own hands. Oh, now then, bullseye. Well, he went for it, didn't need to, but he just a little bit north of the target. Yeah, I was looking at other scores there, but the setup player, that's a good sign of confidence there. These are the type of two dart finishers that these players will practice so much in a couple of hours before the game. Big dart already in this match. Mm, so, having gone for the bull, he couldn't tidy up. Can Van Gogh in steel? Needs a treble. Can he squeeze one in above that dart? No, he can't. So, Danny Van Tripe will be breathing a sigh of relief, but the hard bit's still to do. Just Game squeezes shot. it in there, and that's a sign. When that happens, do you think, is it my day? Just making sure everything is as they think it is. It can be a help because that tension has gone away. 50. And then you think, if you've only wrote the right score there, I'd have hit that. Yeah, that was a long way off. 90 then. 15. Is that a good marker? 65. Oh, it looked it, but he couldn't get it in. So Van Trite gets another chance, and you feel this has got to go. And it Game. does go. First start. So Van Trite is now 4 3 up. And Van, Van Gerwen. And after that first dive, he's now become a big favourite, not only for this leg, but for the match. He had to break Danny to win this match, remember. He's in a tremendous position. He broke him in the very first leg, and we thought at that point it was going to be 58. serene progress, but 105 to go in front. Can he do it in three? Oh, he's missed the big number. Well, that was uncharacteristic. You can look at the scoreboard with a little bit of light relief with Danny. Back on 190. 60. An interesting all going low there for Danny. Maybe he's just thinking his chance has gone. Game shot. Well, it might Van Gerwen at least six starts at this 130. He'll want to put it away. He's got a chance for Bullseye. 98. Didn't need to and didn't. All about getting the job done here. Like I said, it's probably not been his prettiest performance 90. of the season. But it could well be a winning one. Game and it's exactly that. Match. It is a winning start for Michael Varwin. Van Gerwen solid, if not spectacular. But the job well done there for Michael. So you must be so nervous when you reach the final stages. Let me tell you, the nerves are right now with these two players. Sensible. Nice layup. 132. Once he's got down to a possible finish. He's been pretty good, hasn't he, Leighton Bennett? As you said, he took out the 101, he wired double 12 for a 144, and now he's left himself double 16. 72. But this is the side of the game for Leighton. I'm just watching him behind Madars there. And isn't he executing it? Boy, did he enjoy that. He will start on the centre of the board here, will Madars? then can he get it in oh bounced out it was the wrong side anyway but it was a good effort yeah tell your opponent it was in though put your hands on your head chance here for bennett options on 108 it's double 16. 76. that was a chance to hold throw is that gonna be a pivotal moment in this game Game shot. Yeah, that difference mark between 4-1 and 3-2 in the best of 11. And all of a sudden, Madaj Razma is beginning to feel good about himself. He's already made a big story as Leighton Bennett as well, a 2019 BDO Boys World Champion. And then the pressure that came with it. You know, I remember him playing Phil Taylor, and, and it was just this built-up exhibition. And then it just seems to have gone away. He said he'd grown few inches height as well and it, it's lovely to see him come back and bounce back I mean all the headlines are being written by Luke Little right now well the headlines be written for Madaj Razma from 3-0 down double eight for the lead and he delivers this has been some burst a big treble not the treble five there and you don't fancy that that was enough One hundred and three. Just playing treble nineteen and bullseyes, and you cracked it, Madaj Razma. One ten. He stayed there. 
So it's double 15. 80. And that's not the first time he's got the three dart combo, missed the double, and it could be costly. You have to fancy this for Rasma. Big number. Takes his time, gets his breathing right. Eyes on double 16. Can he execute? Yes, he can. Rasma leads 5 3. A little kiss off that second tungsten, wasn't it? The champagne 1 3 2. What a way to win the match. It's what he does. It's double 16. And he's hit the wrong double. At least this time he's not busted his score, but you just felt he knew what he was going for, the double 16. He did dwell. We've seen that quite a lot today. And Bennett is not going to take out the 152. So Madaz Rasmus now, this is interesting because he's gone for double nine twice, missed it inside and busted his score. Hit double 14. Is he going to split this? He is going to split it. Double four, he's hit before to win the match. One dart left. And he's missed it. Didn't he speed up with that throw as well? I think it was the right decision to go the 10 double four. And Leighton Bennett is down and out in this match. Back with a chance and takes it. That nasty, nasty double three. Leighton Bennett is back in this game. This has been ridiculous how many times he's hit the 171. Well, Bennett's going to try and follow him in here, and this is not a bad response. Well, he's given himself a chance. Rasma then for the match. He needs 94. I like that route, but the execution just didn't meet that. Is he going to stay there? It's double 18. Once again, he takes his time. 58. Well, that could have been the target, the treble 18 route, but 138. And this could go here. Oh, this could go. This to level up the match. And he's got it. 138. What a shot that is from Bennett. 5-5. Five, five, a fist bump between the two. And look at the response from Leighton Bennett. And the eye. Is there anything else that can happen in this match? 135. Forget about the last start. It's a beautiful setup. You've done your job, Leighton Bennett. Now it's big number double. All Madars can do is put pressure on. Well, it was denied by the bounce out. But now Bennett. It was 3-0 up and then 5-3 down. Needs double 16 for the match. One dart remaining. And one dart is all he needs. And he leaps up in response, Leighton Bennett. That was a real high-quality game. Bennett raced into a 3-0 lead. Then Rasma hit back with five on the spin. And when all looked lost, Bennett climbed off the ropes to get the victory. He will... 60. Yeah, as soon as you put himself in control of that game, You'd be disappointed with that. Sukansky. Trevelis again. 59. 1 3 2 then. Bull root. Right, still on. Not anymore, it's not. So Zaganski. 59. You feel that this 82 has got to disappear. He will go for the ball. Two at double 16. One left. Gets it. And for the third time today on Streaming Board 1, we are level at 3-3. Styles make fights, and this has been a fabulous game. Like I, said, I think they both enjoy playing against each other. The rhythm and the pace of this match has been a, a real highlight. And now we're coming to the real bitter end now. Could take something like this. He needs to treble 17, gets it. 96. Millimetres away. Can Clemens step in and hold his throw here? 72 he needs. He knows he's getting a dart. The biggest start of this match. Game shot. What a finish under that high-pressured situation. Impressive from Clemens. He's putting the squeeze on Zaganski here, who is now relying on Clemens missing. Well, he's going to leave it. A one-dart finish, but Clemens for the match needs 82. He'll start on the ball. It should be 15, but you're tempted to go up with the 25. However, he's just looking at the score there of Radek. It's double 10. 72. Match start, been and gone. Tops to take us to a decider, and Zaganski takes it out. 
and it's 5-5. And again, we see the fist bump ahead of a final leg decider. Like he's left the door open. So having missed the match, Dark Clemens is going to get another chance here to set up. Oh, that's a lovely visit. Another superb game. Nothing to separate these two players. But it's Clemens with a chance. It's double four. 28. Well, Radek could be ruined the fact that he hasn't left a finish because Clemens has missed four match darts here. The treble would be interesting. 60. Well, 120 is not the worst outshot in the world, but can Clemens tidy it up this time? Well, he gets there in the end. It's cool, calm and collected Clemens, but inside you can see exactly how he's feeling. That. And Johnny Clayton also threw 6-1 as well. Yeah, Martin Lukeman out as well as... 65. Andy Barton just looking good here. Just two darts away for a 3-2 lead. And it would be the first real big statement for him. 64. So 56 then. Tops he needs. Ten. Gets there. So it's three on the spin for Bartons. And he's now in front for the first time this afternoon. And lovely. Made a couple of big trebles here. Quite. Well, he's missed big numbers. He doesn't want to miss it with his first dart. That's clean as a whistle. Outside chance heap, a lovely two data. Yeah. All right, let's see where this first one goes. Right where he wanted it, two at tops for parity, and that is a clinical finish. Two dark kill, and we're level at 4 4. And super board magic for these young players. That's so impressive. And that is not impressive. That is another big number he's Thank missed, you. Bartons. Now, lovely. This to win it. This would be a smash and grab. And it's on. It is very much on. Bullseye. Oh, the no, line was seven. great, but the length was just over the top. Still an awful lot of pressure here. Game short. Pressure, what pressure? Only feels a ton wasn't enough. Bartons needs a treble to leave a shot at the bullseye. And he hasn't got it, so lovely. He's going to get a look at 108 for the match. And so many options on 108 as well. You can start the 20s, the 19s, the 18s, anywhere you want. And he's found the treble. It's double 16. 76. Another match dart missed. Bartons for the game. He's going to get one at tops for the match. And he misses a match dart. Lovely. Can't believe it. I don't think Barton's could as well. And Thomas Lovey has looked the more composed out of the two of them. And what a cliffhanger and what a win for Thomas Lovely. Yeah, the players do on 2 7 1 start in the 19s. He would have hit that single 19 to leave a dart of the bullseye to leave a finish. And all of a sudden, Slevin, despite the fact he's still shaking his head. And interestingly enough, that 180 there from Dylan Slevin, he was the only player going into the Today's Players' Championship 5 who hadn't registered a 180 going into his first game today. Nice Hit a couple six. in the last match. And that 180 there has put him in firm control of this leg. Double 16. Game short. Damon Hetter started slowly against Wesley Plazier. He's got a double double. 57. Chance for Slevin. He likes that double 16 area. Can it be favourable again? 16. The missed double a thong continues. Perhaps go yeah, steps up for tops and he pins it. It's another break of throw. Could be the end. Chance for Pietresco to see out this match. Yep, it has not been a classic. 
But as long as there's a W next to the name, it doesn't matter. Yes. Yeah, he was definitely going for the treble that time. Yeah, it's been all just been like a little stop start from from both players i think dylan will be extremely frustrated because when he throws that and that tends to shake of the head but over to the german for the match might be the most pointless high scoring visit he's ever thrown however Tretzko still has to tidy this up he still has to tidy this up, and he doesn't. Just didn't have any confidence in that. If Marvig and he's chatting away to himself, and Dylan Slevin would put his darts away. 28. Well, it was a different MO. Been going for 16s, decided for tops. And unfortunately for Dylan, same outcome. For the match. Well, that's two visits in a row where Dylan Slevin has been ready to offer his hand to Petrescu. Pick your darts back up. These unexpected chances you've got to take. Did you have any confidence of that going in? I'm not even so sure what that Dylan did there. And Ricardo has led a charmed life. A shake of the head. A scratch of the head, that wry smile. Big number first of all. He won't even have that much confidence of that going in, but it's double two, and he gets there in the end. It's mission accomplished for Ricardo Piotrescu. And he... One hundred and forty. Well, this has been very, very high quality. This fifth leg. Last 64 43. generally is full of high quality. Some real top players producing some stunning performances. Can James Wade join that party? He's had a bit of a wobble in this match. UK Open champion is out. Yeah, there's another game that you're quite invested in, Glenn. It's a northeast battle between Chris Doby and Adam Hunt, and it's three apiece. Come on, Adam. Number 14. Nine Why is it? Well, we both pointed our finger to our TV screen there because we assumed that was going to go in. Well, it's certainly gone in for Peter Wright, a lovely 65 finish. Peter Wright moves into the last 32. Another one of them, please. What a finish. Yep, you see it more and more these days. Players will strive to leave a single to double. This should be bread and butter. Should. 36. Outside chance then for Jeffrey Desvani, who's got options. Treble 20. Would have left double 18. He was a long way off. And that reaction there, Dan, I think he fancied that. It was a bit of a, a freebie. Well, you can't throw them any better. No score. Can't throw up worse. <laughs> I'll let you tell him that afterwards. Chance for Desfant. Can he lead for the first time? Yes, he can. Stick with us. Well, it was marvellous on the set of play from 201 last time. 204 this time, and once again, very competent. That's a little nasty. Chance for the Dutchman, Dan. Yeah, 40 scores. Wade does eventually pick off treble 20, but it may all be in vain. Jeffrey Desvan has got options. Double eight he wants, now double four. Game and Jeffrey Desvan sails through into Jeffrey round Desvan. three. Yeah, he, d he discovered a problem he had in his game and he's rectified it. You've got to give him an awful lot of credit. 
45. Yeah, that will frustrate. And them tiny errors can be punished for both of these players now. These, of course, are both real potential winners today. 91. Leaves a lovely double there. But once again, it was 87 in the first leg for Callum Rids. 103 here. These are the ties. So one of them you feel have to go if you're going to break Gary Anderson. 21 scored. Well, quite a few of the Rids darts are drifting leftwards at the minute. That's a beauty. That's a great checkout from Callum Rids. That's the shuffle across. It's always a big ask. Yeah, there's always that option. A treble 18 isn't on the 1 1 2 when you have a tough first dart. Gary doesn't look very happy in himself right now. 50. A bit of a shock to the system that he could be 4 1 down. But fair play to Rids. Game shot. Double break of throw for Callum Rids. Very outside chance now for Gary Anderson. Perhaps it's a bit more than an outside chance now. Callum Rids, though, has been mustered on top, so if he hits treble 19, he's going to go double-double. I don't really blame him as well. Just remember that moment, though, 4-1 up and absolutely cruising in this leg. And that's an incredible turnaround there from Gary Anderson. And and if you're going to win a player's championship, you don't normally do a demolition job on sort of every player that you're playing. It's been... A funny old day so far for the pair of these 100. two. I also sense that they can get into the winning line of this match. And we'll sense they can go all the way. 140. There may only be one at the ball. 11 or treble. Leaves double 14. Gary Anderson. Is he? Gary Anderson has been nowhere near in this eighth leg. Top of the board for Callum Rids. Now double ten. Forty-six. Still got time, but it's an awkward double five rather than a more straightforward tops. Game shot. He possibly could have had the thought process of the two double four, but that one forty there from Anderson. Just made him more direct and quite simply for Anderson. Hold, break, hold. Which... One hundred and eighty. Well, it's unfair to say to win ugly with a ninety-seven plus average. One hundred and thirty-nine. Well, it's a mark of how good he is. Double 16 to level the game right in the top corner. Beckham esque, and we are going all the way. And Callum Rids probably can't believe what he's facing right now, given that Anderson, for his standards, has been below par for quite a bit of the game. It looks like a man who knows his fate. We've seen him take this already. Doesn't need to go the bullseye route. And he's got plenty of choices. Popular way of going, that treble seven on the one, two, one. The sense it's job well done here for Gary Anderson. It wasn't picture perfect like most of his games have been of recent. But he's a dart away from victory. And victory is for Gary Anderson. That was superb in the end. Smith should come back to the board and he will do. 58. Double six then, to level up at 1-1. One, one. Getting closer, just has to move to his left-hand side a touch. Oh okay. dear, he's left double one. <laughs> yeah, the first two, two darts made that one really awkward. He can only aim at the southern section of the double. Game shot. Barney tidies up, break of throw. He gets the 74 via tops, but he almost got 74 in two darts and busty score. Like you said, the heart was in the mouth there, but here comes Bully Boy back with another maximum for him. Second in two legs, but he's 3-0 down. 140. He does play his darts these days, Raymond van Barneveld, like a man who's 
completely at ease with himself. Michael Smith doing the same here. Well, he is at ease with himself because he's six darts into a perfect leg. Are we about to see perfection here in Hildesheim? 1-4-1 one, one the target then. It's on treble 19, double 12 for a nine dart leg and he gets it. Bully boy, perfection here in Hildesheim. A nine dart finish for him. 3-1, Smith gets his first leg on the board. And all of a sudden, Michael Smith has hit the turbo boost. The switch has been well and truly flicked. 58. He's another one of those players that can just turbo charge, have these bursts of form. That leaves the bullseye. 56. Had to go for it. Barney. Well, he feel he needs this. He needs to stay there. Oh, he can't quite hit the red bit. 100. It was a good guide as well for the treble 20. That leaves top five. <laughs> wow. Perfect first start. 180. There are certain visits where you see the first start plum in the treble 20 and you just almost know there's going to be a 180. And he's going to get a chance to break the throw again. He is. Smith hit the bull anyway, but double 14 for a 4-2 lead. Games. And Barney's back on target. May only be one at the bullseye, the end of this 90 combination. Treble 20 leaves double 15. That's wild. That's Games. straight in. Two darts potentially away from parity here. 180. Well, even that 180 seems forlorn because Michael Smith on an 11 darter doesn't need to use the bullseye. 65. And he's so good, he's hitting doubles when he doesn't want them. Yeah. If double 10, he'll be happy enough about that. Bull, bull. You remember I said before we'd turned up to an exhibition? I think we have. Double ten for parity. Ooh, now then. They are a long way off the target. No score. Well, I'm not sure you'll see Michael Smith throw three darts at double ten that will land further away from the target than that. That leaves 55, so single 15 to leave tops. Or 19 for double 18. Game shot. Right choice, Barney. He is one leg away. He's broken Smith's throat. Yes. All of a sudden here, he's got a chance, but that's a great end to the visit, isn't it, from Barney? Well, Smith got the 1 4 1 earlier on. He needs it again now, and he can't get it. So Barney for the match needs 78. Travel 18, the first port of call. Double 12. Games Raymond Van Barnevel completes a mightily impressive victory against Michael Smith. I'm sat in the seat was the reason why it didn't happen. The one game I didn't sit here, yeah, we'll get the nine data. Typical. The way these two are going at it, you might get another chance quite shortly. I wouldn't worry too much. Gary Anderson after nine, he's on eight, he's on 44. 145. Yes, he asked if he could leave one, but the way Gary Anderson's playing right now, he'd probably check out on one. 28. Well, I tell you what, though, Mark, as much as we're talking an awful lot about Gary Anderson, Peter Wright just going on with what he's. Someone's phone might have gone off or something. They're smiling about it. He's on a 10 dart leg here. That was nearly in the wrong bed, Games. but that one isn't. An 11 dart break of throw for Peter Wright. 60. The big fish. Not going to go this time. Oh, that's a well thrown 60. 167 then for Wright to move within one. It's on. Just had a look there to check. Bullseye for a 167. Cool. 
Oh, way wide in the end. What a moment that could have been there for Peter. I was surprised at the pause after the second dart. As much as we've talked about the brilliance of Anderson, he needs this double 15. That's Game what set. he does. What a finish. Match. Beautiful last start there from Peter Wright. Can I just add there to leave 36? It puts all the pressure on this 130. Nine. Well, he hit the bullseye, but sadly not to win the leg. Double 18 for Wright for a 5-3 lead. Double nine. This could get tricky. Again, he just... Is he splitting this? He is. He's gone two for double eight. And he doesn't take it. He turned down a dart at double nine. Will that cost him? Game shot. I was about to say the dreaded double ten. But and the difference between now is it's six darts for Gary Anderson from one six one. May use the bull with the last. 65. Well, right has made a blunder. And how many times do we see this on a non-finish? They get the trouble with the opening dart. He's still a chance here because Gary Anderson needs 96 for the match. He's had the ups and downs in this game as Gary Anderson, but when he needs it most, he has been supreme once again. Competition as well, and how aggressive he was. Do you remember each time he won a leg of dart, he was letting his opponent know with a game when Price raw. Yeah, his demeanour's really changed since then. He, he, he wouldn't say boo to a goose before, but he's always up for crowd engagement. He's up for this 108 as well. One dart at double 16. 76. He just sense it needed something in this match. I mean, his average is just nowhere near what Ross Smith has been doing recently. Double 11 here for Bunting. Unassailable lead, you would feel. Game shot. 3-0 at this early stage for Stephen Bunting. Almost surprised at himself. It's very easy for me to sit here with the mic in my hand to do that, but just has to strip it right down and just take it each dart as it is, you know, each leg. But it's difficult when you're up there. You're just 85. so frustrated, so angry. You feel like the game has gone. And he has to tell himself it isn't. He's back in this game, 4-1. Still, still a decent opportunity. Has to be treble 17. That does leave the ball. Not a bad leave, but Stephen Bunting with a chance now <laughs> merely to hold the throw with 160. You'd have to feel it'd be a bit of a match point if this goes as well for Stephen. It's not going to happen. So Ross Smith, without stating the obvious, if he can hit this double 18, hold his throw in the next one. All of a sudden, we really have got match on. And from absolutely no way, you have to say for Ross Smith, he moved to the right. May stay there. I think it was the right decision, though, Dan. Just kissed off the barrel, didn't it, to go into that five there. Chance for Smith. 122. It's a good setup, but for a break of throw. Down now for double ten. 35. Inside on double five two. That could be the moment. Ross Smith has been second best in this game, but he did become favourite for a second there. If he'd have took it a five each, he'd have had the darts. Coming up nicely here at the conclusion of this match. Oh, Ross Smith knows now. He knows he's got bunting on the ropes. Probably should go to the 18s or the bull. Well, hit the big number first. It's double 16, his beloved double 16. Biggest double today for Ross Smith and falls at the final hurdle. Will he be back? Chance for Bunting. Well, he had to have a timeout halfway through this game, but Stephen Bunting 
has still got it in him to reach the final of Players' Championship 5. There's a big fish. We know what this is. But Barney can't quite reel it in. So bunting then for 104. Yes, 16s has been the desired. But for Stephen, is he still pretty traditional on the 104? Yes, he is. 12 for double 16, but misses the big number. 72. Well, on fine margins, Barney will need 18 for the bull now. Oh, he was risky there. Bullseye he needs, and he gets it. Well, there might have been a bit of doubt about the second dart, but there was no doubt about that one. The bullseye hit, and he pounces on Bunting's error. Yeah. Possibly feel six darts may be enough from 191. Yeah, Stephen, just a little bit on edge, it seems, but this would calm him down. 136. Well, that's right in the middle. And that's not far away. Double eight for a 136. Couldn't take it out. <laughs> all those box analogies, that would have been a real knockout. So options here. That's absolute perfection for his favourite double 18. Big dart early in this match. Game shot. Solid as a rock. Barney leads 3-0 in the early stages of this game. And that Barney's just a little minor slip there. Well, that was surgical. He weighed up the situation, made his game plan, and went and perfected it. Absolute brilliance from Bunting there. Yeah, sometimes 92. the moment can pass you by. And just a little bit of experience there from Stephen. Just standing back and saying, come on, I'm in this match. This is a really important leg. Such a good first start. He possibly Six, wanted to go the tops, tops route. Barney then, 86. Got this in the opening leg. And he's looking to get it again. And he will get it again. Well, Bunting's layup play was magnificent. But Barney, that was absolutely outstanding. Four legs on the spin. He was waiting for his friend to come back at him. This time it's Bunting that needs the fight and tenacity. 47. <coughs> Mm. Barney's way back here, so Bunting will be back. Struggling to leave a finish. That's 84. a good last start. Can Bunting make 74 disappear? 20 for tops then. Tops he needs for his opening leg of the final. Game shot. And he gets it. Bunting on the board. Yeah, the self-confidence for, for Stephen right now is probably the best it's ever been. I felt he was better than me when he was a retired player. And it's not a joke. He just That was what he, what he stated, and, and that's, he came back. And you've got to have the full admiration for him. He's uh, producing the goods. Yeah. Well, Bunting is starting to hit some good numbers now. Barney, though, is looking. Another one in there would be... Well, he went for the switch to leave double 16. It didn't happen. This would be useful. Is it travel 20? No, he went for double 18. 56. Well, it was a 71 finish I talked about in the first one for Barney, and now it's 68. These types of finishes win titles, two darts, Barney leads 5-1. You'd have to say that would be the cherry on the cake right now. Treble 17 required. You expected that 62. to get here. This is a big finish for Bunting. And as we talk about... He's thinking he's getting a dart or a double. It is only one dart. It's tops. Big moments. Wire. Chance. Barney. Bent the wire. 19 for tops. Single hit. Double Game hit. <coughs> this finishing is absolutely phenomenal. 86, 71, 61, 86, 68, and now 59. He's not giving Bunting a look at that. Six from seven. 85.7%. There were darts thrown of someone, I think, resigned to defeat, or certainly to this leg. Travel 17 for Barney. He won't panic. His opponent's all the way back. 79. Even his setup players are going in now. Yeah. Well, this is the first time he's left himself a look at a one dart finish. Bunting, though, has added a bit of pressure. So, can Barneveld 
Land double 16, he can. He can. This is an outstanding doubling performance. It, it is, quite frankly, remarkable. Hope that Stephen doesn't check out in the 64 and he can lay up this 176, which he will do. He'll just sit it above that for his beloved double 18. Over to you, Stephen. Yeah, 64 needed. One dart. And it'll be at double 16 to keep the match alive. And he has missed it. Barney for the title. Needs double 18. And Barney is shots. that champion. Number he has just put a sublime fight. performance in against Brain the informed Stephen Bunting. Always magnanimous in defeat is Stephen, but what a story. What a day for the legend that is Raymond Van Barnevelt. 